All right, my friends, we are back with a new video on uh, Jason Blaha. We're going to do, do a reaction video. We're going to do a reaction video to this video, which Blaha, the gym lifting, recruiting, lifting slave himself, has posted. Let's see what Blaha has to say. Jason Blaha says, does high cholesterol boost testosterone? Well, as far as I know, it does. I mean, you need cholesterol to create testosterone and testosterone. Testosterone also can convert to DHT, which you want, because DHT apparently, according to science, builds more muscle, yeah. Hey, everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. I thought I would sit down and do a video for you guys and gentlemen. Well, let me give you guys a bicep shot. Uh... Uh, is this guy serious? Look at his right arm. It's completely flat. His left arm, there's just a little, kind of like a little bump there. But overall, they just look completely flat. They just, they look flat. I don't know. I don't, they look uneven. That left arm to the right arm just looks really weird. And those forearms, the forearms are really small. Those are small forearms. Oh, man, this poor guy. I'm telling you, this poor gym slave, this poor lifting slave is really suffering. Jesus. All right. You are suffering. You are suffering. Yes. Let's get over to the video topic. Let's talk about cholesterol and testosterone. This is one of these uh, very bizarre topics that people always bring up. And the problem is that it's actually utilized uh, as a form of pseudoscience or bro science where people point out, they're like, well, you know, we need cholesterol in our diet or we want high cholesterol levels to boost testosterone because testosterone, like all hormones, is made out of cholesterol. It's a cholesterol-based substance, like most hormones, okay? Kind of the, the way they go. But, you know, here's going to be my funny, funny thing with that. The same people, if you were to say to them, well, do you want to boost your estrogen levels? The same guys would be like, oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. But if all cholesterol-based hormones were boosted significantly by high cholesterol levels, wouldn't your estrogen go up too? Wouldn't your estrogen go up, man? It, no, I, I, think he's, I think he's misunderstanding. If you're on an unnatural diet, an artificial diet called carbohydrate drug-induced diet, then, you're, then your estrogen goes up. Apparently, your estrogen is high, and your insulin is quite high, and your testosterone is very low very low now if you go on your natural diet which is water and herbivore meat um grass-fed herbivore meat whatever you want to call it herbivore meat okay like bison or something okay the cows whatever um your testosterone could be as high as 1200 it's set back to a normal it's it's homo it's homostatic state it's out of homostasis. You're out of homostasis. Let's put it this way. Eat an artificial diet, you're out of homostasis. So it's all whacked. Now, if you go back on your natural diet, then everything is corrected normally. So I don't know what Blaha is talking about. High cholesterol, whatever. You need to eat a lot of animal fat as a form of type of energy in your body. More animal fat than, than, than protein. But definitely you need high protein if you're going to build muscle. You're going to need a lot of protein. But you do need some animal fat as well in there. But there's a lot of fat in meat. I mean, it depends, right, what you're eating there. There's fat in meat. You eat it, there's fat, whatever. You get the picture, man, yeah. In fact, even estrogen can be made out of testosterone. So, so actually, if that were the case, you're... It, yeah, it could be made out of testosterone if you're on an artificial diet, dude. You will go up through two, two different mechanisms, wouldn't it? And what are those? The higher testosterone itself would have more conversion into estrogen through the aromatase enzyme. Did he ever take an account of being on an artificial diet and your natural diet? That's a problem with Blaha. He's so unnatural. It's incredible. And this high cholesterol will be creating more estrogen. But it doesn't work that way. Um, and this, this idea... Is high cholesterol creating more estrogen. Whatever, man. Man, your artificial diet is going to create more estrogen, yes. Is, is ludicrous, and it's quite frankly dangerous. It's dangerous because 
Again, if it were actually true, I would be the first one over here saying, well, you know, if it was significant, then well, let's talk about it. I'm all about high testosterone. Well, I think testosterone is great. You if he thinks it's so great, then why doesn't he go on his natural diet so that it's normally that it's set normal? Why does Blaha have to take TRT? Because Blaha can't stop eating a drug-induced artificial diet called carbohydrate diet. It's a drug diet. It's made from plants. Plants are drugs. And so he can't stop doing that. And that's what's destroying his DNA. Yeah. You guys already know my position that I think most older men should at least be talking to their doctor about testosterone replacement therapy. I think having optimized testosterone levels is a great thing. I think it's a great thing. However, boosting it through normal natural mechanisms generally doesn't work. Okay? Yeah, okay. What works is a healthy lifestyle. Okay? But, really? but we can get to that in a minute. Okay. You know, you can actually... You can actually uh, force aging out of your body just by eating a lot of meat and water. You literally can push it out by doing that. It's it's crazy. How do dogs how do dogs restore themselves when they find these dogs in the street? They overfeed them protein. Then what happens? They become like a brand new shiny dog again. How do you become br brand new and shiny again? By overeating overeating meat meat herbivore meat and water and you'll be a shiny new person again man you just have to constantly hit it and hit it and hit it yeah into that near the end of the video but the i call it nutrient overloading we're going to overload the cells with nutrients that's how you do it the idea that you're going to boost it because of the cholesterol is just not supported in the research for one uh, number two you're going to have lots of blood cholesterol let's come back to the other point the same people will scream dietary cholesterol doesn't affect blood cholesterol and for most people it doesn't that's true so therefore if it's not even getting into your bloodstream and having an effect how is it going to convert into testosterone all right we already have, have a does it breakdown of the information we already have a conflicting piece of information so then they'll say well we want high levels in the bloodstream all of it i can see what you're saying i think i think uh, he's confused he thinks he thinks eating an artificial diet and then having high cholesterol somehow and then he's like well you're gonna get high estrogen yeah if you're eating an artificial diet but if you if you eat your natural diet and your cholesterol is high from eating meat and animal fat and animal protein and drinking water if it's high then it's associated with high testosterone your estrogen is not going to be high at all through the roof you're a male your body doesn't it's not going to create estrogen but if you eat an artificial diet you'll increase estrogen because you're increasing um insulin because we know that these artificial diets are what sugar and carbs sugar convert to sugar and sugar it's all a sugar diet maybe good cholesterol like hdl but ldl yeah what about LDL? even low levels of ldl there's more than enough cholesterol present to make as much testosterone as possible and i want to be clear there boy this guy is so confused man he doesn't even know how to read the studies anymore they've already concluded these things about ldl and hdl it has nothing to do with that anymore if there was any correlation, then why do we still see high fertility rates and good testosterone levels in societies and cultures that have very, very low levels of, of blood serum testosterone due to their diet? Want to know why? Because they're being sustained by eating meat. That's why. They're, it's sustaining them on their artificial drug slave diet, <laughs> drug induced carbohydrate slave diet. Yeah. All these long-lived societies tend to have low LDL. See, they tend to have low cholesterol overall. No, they don't. They have high cholesterol. It's associated with long-lived people. I don't know what he's talking about. They've done, they've done blood tests on people that were over 100 centenarians, they call them, over 100 years old. What they found was they had, they, they had high cholesterol. They had very high cholesterol. So there you go. It's associated with longevity. Do they have low fertility rates? Do they have low virility rates? Are they able I have a neighbor over here. She's 95 years old. She does her blood test. 
she's not on statins. And they told, they told her, her her cholesterol is very high. And she, and she always tells me, oh, I love meat. I told her, I eat meat. She says, oh, I love meat. Yeah, because she grew up in a time, she grew up, what, back in the 30s, whatever. She grew up in a time when, you know, that's the, what people were eating meat, a lot of meat, dried meat, meat, they eat meat. You know, the whole artificial thing that started coming out slowly with the time, the engineered fruits and vegetables, so forth and so on, whatever. And more of these like packaged, you know, refined foods, whatever you want to call them, these oh, engineered foods and stuff, man, processed foods and whatever. There's just so many now, it's overwhelming in the stores, it's crazy. Well, just not made sure, are there, are there any evidence that they don't have robust testosterone, robust sex lives, any of that? Is there populations dwindling or something? No. We're not seeing that happen. Therefore, you could look at that and say, okay, this seems like... We are. We are seeing very low fertility rates, and they're not having children in many countries. Yeah, and a lot of people are dying right now. Young people are dying, having even heart attacks, young people. Can't stop eating no seed oils, I guess, right? And that artificial diet, a slave diet. Not so these people make testosterone just fine. We also see plenty of people with low levels of cholesterol on their blood work who have robust, healthy hormone levels. It doesn't seem to be correlated. No, they don't. I've never seen anybody with high hormone levels with low, low cholesterol. I never didn't see any of that. Where is that? Can you please produce any of this, Jason? <laughs> In other words, your body can make enough cholesterol. They're like, well, we need some cholesterol. Well, your body's going to make some cholesterol no matter what. You can't get rid of that. Yeah, it's going to make it because it needs it. Of course it is. But it's out of homostasis because of this artificial slave diet you're eating. And you can't stop eating that slave diet. Again, the levels that we talk about being optimal for health... Yeah, what are they? Are still at least 50 to 60% of the amount that we consider to be on the edge of unhealthy, okay? Like, we generally, if, if someone has... You know what they say uh, meat is? Beef? Beef, particularly, just beef. They consider it anti-aging. Why do they consider beef anti-aging, uh, Blaha? You want to know why, man? Because it has all nutrients. It is not devoid of any nutrient. There are no... Um, there are no toxins in it, and there's no sugar in it. So there you go, okay? And it has a bunch of other things, special things that are inside meat. You probably wouldn't know about it. You need to read the studies on it, but whatever. There's a lot of studies on it. You can read about it. It's in my community section. They're coming out with stuff all the time. They're explaining stuff. There's, there's unclassified nutrients even in, in meat that you can't find anywhere. It's not even classified. They're, they found other nutrients that they haven't even classified yet. So there you go. That's why when you start eating meat and a lot of it, when you just start eating, when you just eat piles and piles of like beef, especially as raw as you can eat it, I don't know. If you have to fry it a bit, okay, a couple seconds, but eat it really, really raw. And you'll notice you're going to change and look much better. You're just going to look better and better and better all the time. You're going to look like a supermodel. Very serious uh, atherosclerosis or heart disease. The doctor wants to see your LDLC under 70. They want it under 70. Yeah, okay. Because atherosclerosis seems to stop completely. It doesn't get any worse at that level. Anything over 100, they want to put you on a statin because you're developing cardiovascular disease as a result of it. Okay. That's not, in the grand scheme of things, that's like half, or it's still at least half. Because we consider like a 120 to be really high and a 60 to be very, very low. 60 is, is usually an exceptionally healthy diet and lifestyle. I don't know, man. I think he's making this stuff up. Where, where are the stats on this, dude? Less than 1% of that. Well, not even 1% of that amount can even be used to make testosterone. This is not, it's not a huge amount here. Go, I mean, again, do the math on it. Go do the math. 
it's a fraction of a percent of the testosterone in your bloodstream versus even cholesterol for people who have low levels. This is nonsense. Your body doesn't need you to spike your cholesterol levels to make testosterone. It is simply not required. In other words, your body makes more than enough. Your body can make all the cholesterol it needs, has no trouble doing so, and it's largely based on your diet of how high it is, but it can make it, and it can make the other hormones it needs from it, right? It seems, seems to have no problem doing so. So people get all this obsession with this, even though it's not supported by data. It's not even supported by common sense, biology, by epidemiology. They just say because they want people to eat tons of red meat. Because they're trying to link it with virility and being manly. It's this whole, we see this whole, like almost a red pill type movement combined with the heavy meat eating. You know, as, as if it it's, makes it more manly. Um, it's not that. It's not tied in any way to your masculinity. There's no connection there. They're completely separate topics. Now, that being said, if you really care about boosting your testosterone levels, why don't you just be healthy? All right, here's, here's, here's. If you wanna boost your testosterone levels, just be healthy. What is healthy? What is healthy, Blaha? I thought lifting is healthy. Doesn't that promote health and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, right? So if you just be healthy, right? <laughs> Man, he doesn't even tell you what's healthy. The key, the we key. know being fat reduces testosterone. Yes. Don't be fat. Healthy fat reduces testosterone? What? We know being sedentary reduces testosterone. Don't be sedentary. Being sedentary reduces... Oh, man. Reduces testosterone. This is ridiculous, man. He's making this stuff up. Well, yeah, if you're completely sedentary, you're not even moving to the washroom to take a pee or anything, probably. I don't know. No, that has nothing to do with testosterone. That That is a lie. If you're eating a natural diet, even if you're sedentary, man, your hormone, you'll be, you'll be in homostasis, okay? You're obviously, all of you are out of homostasis on an artificial diet like Blaha. That's why he has to take artificial steroids. He has to inject them. Because he's so artificial, he doesn't know anything, doesn't know what he's doing. We know dietary deficiencies reduce testosterone, don't have dietary deficiencies. We see where we're going here. You should probably get a little sunlight every now. Dietary deficiencies, yes, meat. If you're deficient in meat, it's gonna, your testosterone's gonna be plummeted, yes. On that too. And eating these anti-nutrients, these plants which are anti-nutrient, okay? All right. You want to optimize your testosterone production naturally in a healthy way, be healthy. Be physically active. What is healthy? He says be healthy. And the first thing he says, be physically active. Physically active has nothing to do with health. Eat a balanced whole foods diet. Eat a balanced whole, whole foods diet? No. Eat your natural diet. If, if you truly want to be healthy, eat your natural human diet. Water and meat. Hello? Don't be obese. I like that one. Don't be obese. How do you, uh, Blaha, how do you not be obese? By stopping eating what? an artificial fake diet he didn't even want to see here's the thing he doesn't want to tell you that because that would contradict everything that he just told you he would say well then you're going to have to stop eating this healthy this these healthy foods called fruits and vegetables and these processed foods get it man because they make you fat this guy is really insane meat doesn't make you fat those things actually tend to kind of overlap a lot Incidentally, they're the yeah, they overlap because if you keep eating those fake diets, the slave diet, it'll spike insulin and all kinds of stuff, give you diabetes, metabolic diseases, and everything else. So how could that be healthy? Eat a whole foods diet. What's a whole foods diet? Plants, fruits, vegetables, all that. It's all sugar, spikes insulin, gives you metabolic diseases, and a bunch of other stuff. How is that healthy for you? Blah, is crazy. And do exercise. How is laboring in a gym, doing labor work, is the, how is that healthy for you? That is not healthy, dude, hello. Things that tend to boost your testosterone production the most also. Lo and behold, being healthy 
causes your body. Okay, what is, how do you be healthy? Blah, how do you be healthy? How? I know. Exercise and eat a whole foods, a whole foods fake diet. Okay. Have healthy amounts of hormones. Yes, eat a eat a slave diet. Oh, you're gonna have healthy amounts of hormones. Yes. Eating a slave diet. Okay. As a side effect. Let's do that. As a side effect. Yep, no. There, there's no such thing as side effect. There's just homostasis, bro. Get it? You're out of homostasis. Pretty much everybody is eating an artificial diet. Eating a slave diet p puts you out of homostasis. So that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time. Wow, that was so uninformative, man. <laughs> It just didn't make, none of that made sense whatsoever. I have no clue. I don't know, man. You tell me your opinion on that. Comment down below in the comment section and, you know, I don't know. Elaborate. Maybe you can elaborate on this because I'm so confused after this video. Tell me what you think about. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Helps with the algorithm. And yeah, I just, I'm just, I'm so, I'm, uh, I don't know. It didn't make any sense. Whatever, man. I gotta go. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, friends.